everybody. Welcome to Tequila Stories. Hey, everybody. Uh, my name is Brian Belcher. And I'm Brittany Saturn. And uh, we're playing Donkey Kong 64 yeah, we're some more. Continuing Donkey Kong 64. So, yeah, we, we know the show is called Tequila Stories, but today it's Vodka Stories. Yeah. <laughs> because. Just, which is. Oh, this is not where I'm supposed to go. Whoops. My bad. You guys got to see my sweet swing and vine action. I know. Oh, uh, we had some strawberry daiquiri mix in the freezer. Yeah. We're and like, we're not even mixing rum with it like we're supposed to. We just mix vodka with it. I prefer vodka over rum. <laughs> we have a lot of vodka, though, so. Yeah. and well, Better we, polish that thing off. That was our thing. We were like, hey, we need to record. Oh, shit. We're kind of out of tequila. We're yeah. not out of tequila, but we're we're out of like good tequila. Well, yeah, we have we have a little bit of trash tequila left. And um, we're just like, you know what? <laughs> Let's just record anyway. Yeah, whatever. Also, you guys we're, don't being, care. we're fancy because we're drinking out of coffee mugs. Yeah, you guys. What's your favorite um, cup to drink out of? Um, uh, like, comment, subscribe. My <laughs> mine <laughs> is definitely uh, my Toe Jam and Earl coffee mug that yeah. I got for backing the Kickstarter. That's pretty awesome. I have a unicorn mug with a rainbow on it, but I got from the Dollar Tree. So, so I've been drinking since sweet. we got set up. Like the setup yeah. process. Oh, I only needed nine bananas. So, yeah. So last time we left, it's been a while since we recorded. We're yeah. gonna just like part of the kimono, let everyone know it's been a while. But that's why we haven't released these yet because we knew we weren't ready. Yeah. But I came back in. We're just kind of running through Donkey Kong sixty four. We're not doing one hundred percent because we would be here forever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I love this game, but Brian doesn't really much care for no, it. No, I, I really, honestly, I, I kind of hate the game. Yeah, but, he um, doesn't like it, but I love it. So I'm kind of forcing him to. I'm, I'm enjoying watch it. watching it. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's never watch. something that you want to play. No. So it's kind of weird for me to play this game and not get everything or yes. try to get everything. Yeah, it feels whole, really weird. So it's a whole different play style for you. Yeah, so I'm already going into the boss and I don't have enough, uh, or like I haven't gotten nearly all the bananas I need, but yeah, yeah. we're going to go ahead and just get the boss key. All right. This is a good old armadillo. So this is one of my favorite named bosses in the game, just because he is an armored Dillo. Army Dillo. So there's actually a, a, <laughs> He's a boss. He's an Army Dillo. Um, <clears throat> there's actually a boss kind of similar name to this in, uh, in Mega Man X, and it's the Armed Armadillo. Nice. So. Which one came first? Uh, definitely Mega Man X. Oh. Like, they came out like... <laughs> I don't know when the Mega Man games came it's out. It's like 1995, I know the first Mega 94. Man games came out really early in time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I didn't know about the like, X games. Like, this is Super Nintendo. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. I don't know shit about Mega Man. <laughs> Despite it being six years of Mega man -athon, yeah. I'm just there to hand people water and to take people's money. I don't know shit about Mega Man. I didn't know about it. Mega Man until I met you. You never even heard of Mega Man? No. Hmm. I mean, I grew up playing Lion King on the SNES. Speaking of which... So I probably would have thought that was a boy game. Like, yeah. as a girl, I'd be like, that's a boy game. So I, I don't want to play that. Son of a bitch! Look at you. I like so to be efficient with this guy, but I have to do one more round of fireballs. So, speaking of uh, games of your childhood... We, uh, so, uh, there's been a hashtag going around I'm called GameStruck4. I'm gonna fucking die doing this. And, um, Brittany, your tweet about that kind of blew up. <laughs> yeah, I, like, woke up one morning and I was like, oh, I have a funny joke. And I designated the Microsoft Solitaire a free sell, um... Microsoft Paint? Minesweeper. Uh -huh. And then Paint as my four games growing up. Which... It's true, honestly. I mean, it's not... I wouldn't say those are the four games that shaped me as a kid. Like, that's just a joke. Just played the shit but out of them. But the reason why that joke is, like, resonated with everyone is because everyone played those games. and But no one thinks about those games as yeah, being, yeah. like, games. But when everyone got their computer for the first time... Oh, yeah. Uh, played the shit sure out of Minesweeper and Solitaire. Played those games. Even if they didn't understand how they worked. Like, a lot of people were like, Free cell? What the fuck is that? And I was like, nah, it's a harder solitaire. Okay. The one I never understood was hearts. I constantly lost at hearts. I did not know what that was. Okay. Well, <clears throat> to well, the reason I brought that up is because I want to know, would DK64 be on your actual list? Because you made a joke list. Yeah, I made a joke list, and I decided not to make a real one because so many people retweeted the yeah. first one. So well, let's let's do it in the okay. episode. What would be your four, okay, four GameStruck 4? My GameStruck 4. 
Okay, so definitely like The Lion King because mm-hmm. that was a game I played the crap out of mm-hmm. uh, as a kid, and I'm pretty proud that I'm actually pretty good at that game. Yeah, you um, are really good at that game. I never got past the stampede stage when yeah, I was a kid, and, and you make fun of me for that. That's, well, that's the easiest stage to be honest, because it's just a pattern. You don't. It never changes. I never got past it though. Um, I couldn't do it. That's okay though. Uh, definitely Lion King. I want to say, like, I definitely want to pick out, like, an N64 game, oh. and it would either be, like, this one or Mario 64. Mm-hmm. That's another game I just played the crap out of. Um, I think I have more, like, I love Mario 64, but this one, I don't know, this one just makes me, like, I love this game, you know? Yeah. Like, as we were waiting for you to get set up, and we were listening to the intro music, I was, like, getting emotional listening to the fucking music. <laughs> And it's probably just because I've had a lot to drink already. Thanks, but Grant Kirkhope. <laughs> I was like, oh, wow, this music is just so awesome. Like, I just love this game so much. So, yeah, I would, I would probably have to say Donkey Kong 64 is one okay. of my Okay, okay, uh, so we got games. Lion King, Donkey Kong 64. You got a jungle theme going on so yeah, far. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I fucking love jungle <laughs> games. Uh, and then I would say probably Wind Waker. Okay. Because that is the first Zelda game I ever played. And that really got me into Zelda. Like, I had never played a Zelda game. After I played Wind Waker, I was like, I have to play all of them now. Uh, That was exactly what you were like, too. Even if all of them are not the same as this game, I just want to play them all. And now I love the Zelda franchise, and I'm trying to slowly play through all the games. So I definitely would say, like, Wind Waker is one. I remember how many years I fought you about (laughs) Zelda. Yeah, I was just like, meh. I was just being a hardhead, because you were like, you should play Zelda, and I was like, no. No, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Even though, like, you like most of the things I suggest to you. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's true. Like, I started you off with Katamari Damacy and Okami. Mm-hmm. And, but I'm trying which to think basically what... is a Zelda game. Yeah, Okami. Definitely, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of what the fourth game would be. Okay. I'm not sure, though. Got an open slot. <laughs> so while you're thinking about it, my top four, uh, I actually did a real list on, on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Mine was uh, Sonic 2, Mega Man 2, mm-hmm. um, and then I just lost my train of thought. Shit. <laughs> I just forgot what the other two were. I was trying to think about, uh, I'm about to think about my honorable mentions. Mm-hmm. You're getting too far ahead. And I'm getting too far ahead. Do you need to quickly look at your tweet? I'm going to look at my tweet real <laughs> quick. Because I... Guys, guys, guess whose memory is really bad when they drink? Brian. I, first of all, I if you've never listened to any of any of our uh, Let's Plays, you can tell that I am constantly looking for the word. Brian doesn't have words. <laughs> I don't have words. And I... <gasps> I'm constantly looking for him. By the way, Brittany, that uh, Twitter account, hey. Sluttune, also follows me now. Oh, nice. You can yeah, tell it's about like that a, for a sec. It's like a, um, okay, so we have this account that follows us on Twitter. It is only erotic pictures of Splatoon. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot these. Both for music games. Yeah. Uh, Samba de Amigo. Oh, of course. Yeah. Gosh, but, how could you forget Samba de Amigo? I know, right? What the hell, Brian? I know. And Rock Band 2. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have a lot of twos in mine. Must be a theme. Uh, it's uh, yeah. So we got we got three of those. You want to see something creepy? Yeah, sure. This fucking thing right here. Or the ghost lady? Yeah. Yeah. So oh. she was actually in Donkey Kong Country series oh. as not a ghost. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You should actually play oh, really? Donkey Kong Country. This is only Donkey Kong Country I've ever played. She actually says Donkey Kong Country three. In that, in that paragraph I was there. I intention. I didn't even read it. Let's see, how many bananas are on the... Oh, five. Cool. Wait, we're good. We're good. So this is my favorite level. Mm-hmm. Let's name this one. Oh. That's a lot of tequila. Angry um, Aztec. A lot of vodka. It's called Angry Aztec. Okay. Is oh, this the, no. Is this the one with the camel? Yes. The oh, llama. that's what... The, the llama. Or is it the llama? Oh, it looks like... It's a, a llama! Right? All right. Well, holy shit! I just got a big old swig. You got to start it. You want me to start with my straw? Yeah, let me get your straw. Brian's being like, I'm not drinking. A sh- with I don't a straw. like straws. Yeah, honestly, I should buy like some plastic straws, like like, like some hard plastic, hard straws. plastic, because these are bad for the environment. Yeah, I've been like really self conscious lately of like my disposable plastic straws because they're really bad for the environment. Mm-hmm. I know, like, I think England banned 
plastic mm-hmm, straws mm-hmm. recently, and I was like, yeah. Well, I'll get you some metal straws. Have yeah. you seen those? Those are really awesome. Yeah, I don't know where to get them from, though. Amazon? We sell plastic straws at work right now, so. They're, they're on Amazon. And uh, they're really cool, actually. I'm going to make sound effects the whole game. Oh, so that's actually. <laughs> oh, whoa, no. what the hell happened there? I don't know. I thought I'd touch the uh, Yeah, it rope. looked like you got hurt by the rope. Yeah, I don't know. So, Let's go ahead and, like. This is how I knew Brittany was the right girl for me. God damn it. <laughs> um, when we got together. Oh, any more than. Uh, we <laughs> just started making noises at each other. <laughs> because I didn't know, like, I'm an awkward person. Sometimes I don't know what to do. Uh, so I make noises. Yeah, and I'm the same boat. <laughs> and my favorite thing is, is that Brittany and I both Ooh. didn't mention this to each other. We kind of didn't think about it. We were just like, oh, yeah, of course there they make is. noise. There he is. Yeah. I uh, guess he doesn't have a hump. I he does. Him. Listen to me. The key to my freedom lies in the clouds. Okay. I don't know what a llama voice would be. Probably not that. He's no, very lazy. He yawns a lot. So. He lo- His face reminds me of an Eddie Murphy donkey. <laughs> we're having waffles. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we've made that joke on here already. Probably. Probably. I don't know. You just yeah. have, wait a minute. How are you getting hurt by the? I, tu- I did touch the lava. Oh, okay. That's it's lava. Not, yeah, yeah. That looks like sand. Well, I don't know what it is, but it hurts you. All right. All right. Let's go in here real quick and see like how many bananas we have to get to okay. fight the boss. All right. We have to keep in mind we have to get like a certain number of like little colored bananas uh-huh. for each person, uh-huh. 120, to fight the main boss. And then we have to get a certain number of golden bananas to progress to the next level. How many golden bananas are there in each there's, level? Uh, 25, because there's five bananas for each mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Kong. Anyway, let's go in to see Candy. She's brand new. Okay. She's, she's well, Good old Candy. She's the... She's, Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, she's the, um, she's the sexy Kong. Uh-huh. Out of everybody, and she, like, I'm assuming is Donkey Kong's girlfriend? Wow, so... Because he has a picture of her in his hut, and she has a rug with his face on it. And also, I don't think she plays her piano very often. There's a lot of... There's a uh, lot of dust and cobwebs on it. Cobwebs on it. Yeah. But we got some bongo blast. Yeah. So this is pretty cool. Uh, If you play these musical instruments, uh, it'll kill all enemies nearby. Oh well, yeah, you're we'll gonna use the shit out of that. And then there's also some like keypads, basically that you play the the <laughs> instruments on that opens up shit. How do you not abuse that? Uh, well, you have a limited number. Also, it looks like you just got two. Uh, you got two health bars. Yeah, now. yeah, that's the other thing too. Is it gives you two health bars, two health melons. Eventually, you'll get three, and that'll be the max. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh, excuse me. Sorry, I've never, like, anytime we've ever played Oops. this together, like, I've watched you play, I don't really pay attention to the game too much. Yeah. So, so the only thing that sucks about this game is obviously you gotta, like, keep doing it for each yeah, yeah, character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he already got the two melons, so that's for everybody, but I have to pay to get his instrument. And okay. He has a guitar. Oh, yeah. That guitar gets up! Gets up! Diddy's probably, like, my least favorite character in mm. this game. Fun fact, he's the lead character of the uh, game everyone says is the best Donkey Kong Country uh, game. I'm sure he's awesome in other games, but he's not that cool in this game. I don't know. He has the rocket pack, and it's really, really hard to control in this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, fuck him. So he is um, the lead character in Donkey Kong Country 2. Really? Yeah. Like, Do- Donkey Kong's not in it. What? Oh, let's talk to the llama. He just says, Stop messing around. Bow. All the sand is beginning to itch in here. <laughs> Where's it itching? His toes. Oh, obviously. okay. Okay. Obviously, Brian. Obviously, his toes. Obviously. What? All right, so I'm trying to remember what I gotta do. All right. You keep an eye on the clock because this is a little different than when we so, do Animal Crossing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was just about to say. <laughs> Um, Let me know when the time's up. You're the timekeeper. I'm, I, you know, fun fact. There's no time. <laughs> I couldn't think of a way to like remind you without the audience knowing. So I was like, 
I'm just so I'm glad it. you said something. You know what? It's about that time, guys. Is it about that time? I have no idea. I'm gonna have to figure out the next episode. I'm Does that to... not tell you how no. long we've been recording? No, we're trying a new like recording method right now, guys. And I just realized it doesn't have a clock on it. Oh yeah, we should just keep time on our phone then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's fun. Well, let me get these bananas on these trees, and then that we'll call it. Banners. We'll call it next. God damn it. <laughs> we'll call it next time on Tequila Stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> We'll still be drunk next come, time. <laughs> come, come, yeah, we're, yeah. Uh, uh, that's the fun part is I'm very much drunk right now. Yeah, right? Oh, like, are you going to fall asleep? <laughs> I'm going to, I'm trying not to. Like, okay. I'm trying, that was part of the reason why I kind of forgot about the time. I was just going to, like, go with it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, when we come back, we will be ready to progress in Angry Aztec, my favorite. One of my favorite levels. All right. Bye, guys. Thanks so much. And, uh, Bye, guys. You know, make sure to support us on Patreon. Yeah, to support watch. us on Patreon. It says Brian's name, but you're also supporting me. So, yeah. if you like me better, uh, basically, you can still send us money. You, you, and I'll, I'll take the money. That's She does. And um, <laughs> if you would like to support us, uh, these are the only free episodes of Tequila Stories that we'll be putting out. But uh, you can catch all kinds of other episodes of Tequila Stories on our Patreon. Patreon. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys.